my new book of poetry, Undesirable, Race and Remembrance, was provoked by an incident at a local supermarket in Astoria, New York, where I experienced an unexpected racist rant from a man ahead of me in line. Though he left quickly, I was deeply troubled, and on my way home I composed the first poem in this collection. The poem recalls my father's return to San Antonio after World War II, where he was greeted with discrimination in spite of his service and sacrifice. I end the poem with the aforementioned episode, which occurred some 75 years later. As I continued to explore my family's experiences, I found that I had created a book-length collection. I am so pleased that Somos en Escrito Press is publishing my work. And now I will read Undesirable for your consideration. Undesirable. Fresh from the seasick flight, the blitz still ringing in his ears, he had been a shadow in the pale streets of London. His dark grace and typist's fingers kept him away from the front, and he survived for his ritorno al barrio. Back to the White House on Raymond Street, a walk along the crooked tracks, a visit to Wong's grocery for lime jaritos, and a swim in the natatorium. The joy of children laughing in the pool he would find elusive. Despite his service in their stead, his companions could enter, but not the little sergeant. His wiry hair and mocha flesh made him, in the eyes of the gatekeeper, undesirable. Still, he persisted, swam against complex eddies, climbed forbidding weirs to arrive at fresh waters. He, the denizen of chalkboards and lonely carols, of bibliographies, and a house built of books. In the end, undesirable. The boy sat next to him in the stifling car. A truck pulled up next to the wagon. A shirtless, sweaty man looked us up and down, spat between his gapped teeth. The chaw sizzled like a fried egg on the road. Hot, ain't it, Pancho? Papa once sat next to President Johnson at a banquet in the Great Society a lull in the eye of the shitstorm, and for a time our world appeared to change. But fifty years later the boy stands in line to buy bread and milk, happy in his own musings, but met with a hateful glare on an island that was once the world's refuge. Undesirable. <laughs>